Welcome to the Banksy Stadium, home of Warsaw FC, the Super Settlers, where today, at the Exit game, we'll be interviewing Mick Cairns, Adam Davy, and many more about the community programmes and how the community is affected by the community programmes of professional clubs. There are a number of things that attract people to the, foot, to the football club in the, in the first sense, is that uh, they're, they're a supporter of the team, first of all, uh, and that was what brings them along. But since the, um, the outset of the community programme, which has been established uh, 20 years in, in December, beginning of December, we, we've, all, we've always tried to incorporate every uh, person into um, taking an interest in Warsaw Football Club. Now, we all know that not everybody can play for Warsaw Football Club, but we try and encourage people who may not be able to play and won't have that talent. And we're always trying to um, impress on people the importance of uh, racism, not only in football, but in life itself. Yeah. And uh, we, we try to get them interested in A, sport to start with, and, B, and uh, the benefits of being involved in sport, like health, fitness, camaraderie, uh, things like that. Uh, and if they're not good enough to play, as I said earlier, to come and support and, and have an interest. I would say is in recent years, the last couple of years, we've developed more with the NHS. We're starting to work with local uh, police groups, sort of the, the police community support officers, and we're branching into sort of health awareness, and we're also branching into sort of antisocial behaviour and social inclusion issues. So, you know, there's always new things to do, and ideally, if there's something happening, and a group in the community wants the backing of the football club for an activity, even if it's something we've never done before, we look to see if we can um, sort of link in with them and, and add some profile to their activities. Um, from all the shirt sales that, that happen this season, there's money going towards the hospice. Um, we have had meetings with them to look at different ideas and ways of supporting, um, things like that. They had a charity football match last night, uh, the ex-players versus um, a, a local side and, and they're sort of veteran footballers um, and one or two of the lads joined in that game to, to make up the numbers. So in, in a variety of different ways, I'm sure we will throughout the season be involved with them. Community. Um, they offer a fair amount of incentives and special offers out, and I think they do what they can with what they can. It's, it's good, it's they're in the soccer schools, aren't you? It's good for you, isn't it? Yeah. They get to know all the coaches, what they go in, and they know all the people in there. Your affiliates like kick it out of like I do in the, and the FA, you know, they do their bit, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to the person yourself to, you know, go on and push the song because I think it comes from like you so I mean you just need to go on and just push yourself to the best that you can. Yeah you need to get the quality for like, Yeah exactly you've got to be good enough because they, 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 you know, that's what you that's what you that's what you looked upon like, for your ability. I think if you're good enough I mean you, you can go on and achieve big things. Um, you know it's a very very successful programme and clubs themselves benefit from successful community programs because they bring in the, the next level of or the next decade if you like of, uh, of support. 